Hi there, my name is Tom from the First Aid Training Cooperative and I'm about to show you how to do a recovery position on an unresponsive casualty. So the first thing I need to do before I move my casualty is I need to make sure that my area is uh, nice and free and clear from any obstructions. So I'm preparing my area, I might need to move things out of the way. Then I'm going to prepare my casualty. If my casualty was wearing glasses, I would take their glasses off and I would put them in the hand nearest me, closing his fingers around the glasses. I'm also going to check that he doesn't have any rings on, which might be sharp or spiky. If he did, I would just spin them round so that the sharp or spiky bit was inside his palm. Once I've done all that, then I can start to move my casualty into position. So first thing, I'm gonna move this arm nearest me. And I'm just gonna slide it out so it's out of the way. That allows me then to kneel in next to his waist. I'm now going to lift up his far away knee and lift that right up in the air and I'm going to hold on to it. As he's unresponsive, if I don't hold on, it might well flop away. Next, I'm going to take with this hand his far away hand and I'm going to grip his thumb with my thumb. Okay, and I'm going to lift that hand up so that the, his palm goes onto the side of his face against his cheek. And holding on to his thumb means that I can open up my hand and support his head. So I've got my hand around the back of his head there. On the word roll, I'm going to pull on his knee and roll him over onto my knee. So I'll be supporting him initially on my knees. Ready, steady, roll, over he comes. And as he comes, I'm supporting his head, rolling him right onto my knees. Okay, and he's nice and stable just like that. I need to stabilize him on his own. So I'm gonna lift up his knee and bring it out so that it's at a nice right angle there. That stabilizes his hips and allows me to let go and hold on to his head here. Very carefully, take my hand out, put his hand on the floor and lay his, hat, his head sorry, onto his hand. I just need to shuffle his arms about a bit here. And that allows me just to bring him over so he's now supported on his elbow and his knee. Okay, so he's nice and stable at both ends of his body. I need to reopen his airway now, so I'm going to give him a head tilt again. I'm going to open his mouth and pull his chin forwards, similar to a chin lift. And I need to just recheck his breathing. So for 10 sec up to 10 seconds, I might put my hand on his back. And once I'm happy that there's good effective breathing, then that's great. I'm just going to check his back, make sure there's nothing obvious there. Might check his back pockets as well for any uh, wallet or other information. Okay, and last thing, I'm just going to check that he's nice and stable. So my casualty has ended up in a safe and stable uh, position with an open draining airway.